All right, hello, welcome. In this video, we're looking at trigonometry and Khan Academy. It's trigonometry with right triangles and solving for a side in right triangles. So we're gonna look at the problems that you would encounter here and talk about how to solve them. So I've got a bunch of problems here. Okay, I got the first one pulled up. Solve for a side in right triangle. So in all of these problems, we're gonna need our sine, cosine, and tangent ratios. So that's sine, cosine, tangent, and that's referring to uh, I'm going to use Sokotoa, right, Sokotoa, to solve each of these. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. And what I'm going to do is solve for AC. So where is AC? Here's AC. It's the side right here. And the question I want to ask myself is what angle am I given? I'm given 65 degrees. So from that angle's perspective, what information do I have? I have an adjacent side, this question mark right here is AC, and I have an opposite side. So I have opposite side and adjacent side, that's gonna be tangent. And that's all I'm doing in each of these problems. I'm looking at the tangent of 65 degrees, and that's going to equal the opposite side over the adjacent side, so two over AC, which I'll call X here, it's the unknown. And now I just want to solve for x. Probably the easiest way to do this is to multiply both sides by x. So I would get x times the tangent of 65. And on the right-hand side, 2 divided by x times x, just 2. And then I'm going to divide both sides by the tangent of 65. So x equals 2 divided by the tangent of 65. And they don't, I don't know if they say it here. I don't see anything about it. But they, other than telling us to round the answer to the nearest hundredth, they don't indicate if we're working in degrees or radians. However, I'm going to infer, as I think it's correct to do, that we are working with degrees because we're given measurements in degrees. So on the calculator then, right, here if I press mode, there's lots of options on my calculator. I want to make sure that I'm in degree mode down here. I'm using this Texas Instruments calculator, quit out. And now I just want to do two divided by the tan of 65. Hit enter and round this number to the nearest hundredth, which is 0.93. So x in this case is 0 0.93. And I always look at my triangle and I, I think if this is two, it seems somewhat reasonable to me that this is 0 0.93. And then if you enter that answer in here, that would be correct. Let's do another one. So here we're trying to find AC again, right? But this time, let's see what we're given. We're given this angle, 35 degrees, and we're giving an opposite side, but we're also given a, 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 the hypotenuse, excuse me. So it's opposite over, opposite and hypotenuse. So what are our options? We have Sokotoa, sine, cosine, and tangent. And here we're dealing with the sine because it's opposite over hypotenuse. So something here opposite over here, the hypotenuse. So the sine of 35 degrees equals the opposite side, that's the unknown AC, divided by five. How do I solve this? I multiply both sides by five. Five times the sine of 35 degrees is going to equal well, x divided by five times five, the fives cancel out, they're opposite operations, and all I've gotta do is five times the sine of 35. Boom, hit enter, and I get 2.86 to the nearest hundredth is 2.87. So x is 2.87, and then if I look at this, that seems reasonable, this is 2.87, that seems reasonable if this is five right here, so that is the correct answer. Okay, let's go to the next one. Here they want us to find BC. So that's this side right here, right? And that's the unknown. And we're given this side here, too, with this angle 35 that's opposite and adjacent. So if I set up my Sokotoa, that is tangent opposite over adjacent. So the tangent of 35 degrees. And I don't need to write my parentheses here or degrees, it's inferred that I'm dealing with the tangent of this angle, and that equals x, this unknown side, opposite over two. 
and then x will just be 2 times the tangent of 35. So if you're missing this numerator up here, if x is up here, you can just multiply these two numbers right away and that will solve it for you. So in this case, if we do 2 times the tangent of 35, 2 times the tan of 35, we get 1.4 to the nearest hundredth. So it's 1.4. And again, that seems like a reasonable length. I'm not getting anything crazy. If it looks like if this is 2 down here, 1.4 seems reasonable. And the last one, we have this angle, 20. And we have this side, 3, which is an opposite. And this side here, which is missing, the longest side of a triangle is the hypotenuse. So we have Sokotoa, and we're dealing with a 20 degree angle opposite an hypotenuse, so that's a, we're going to deal with the sine ratio. So the sine of 20 degrees, I don't need that degree sign, so I'm, I just write the sine of 20, a little bit less work, is the opposite, 3, over the, the hypotenuse. So you might have noticed in the other one, if you multiply both sides by x and then divide by the sine of 20, this goes, you multiply both sides by x, you get x times the sine of 20 equals 3, and then you divide by the sine of 20, you might speed things up by just recognizing that when you're missing this denominator here, x, you can just essentially swap it with the sine of 20. So you could end up doing 3 divided by the sine of 20, or whatever is here, this numerator divided by the trig ratio, and that will always give you the denominator. You can just swap these two things. You see here they're in different positions, and that'll solve it for you. So let's do the calculation. We get 3 divided by the sine of 20, and that's 8.77 to the nearest hundredth, and we're done. So this is the length. 8.77 and that looks reasonable if this is 3 I can see this being 8.77 that doesn't seem too outlandish all right hope that helped